Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and we are back out in the desert again, except uh, this is my other desert test site that I can fly on weekends. Um, I flew the M5 yesterday, or the day before yesterday, and I didn't get, really get a chance to test its range to see how far out it can go, and I'm going to try to do that today. Um, that's one of the options I wanted to demonstrate, and also I didn't get a chance to demonstrate its circle feature, and we are going to do that also. Um, I went over all of the features of this, so if you're you're curious about the features of the M5, make sure to watch phase, the phase, actually the part one video, I'm sorry, of the M5, uh, where I discuss the features. But today, again, we're going to demonstrate range and circle me capability. Now, I already have this linked up, the repeater slash controller linked up to the quadcopter, and now I gotta hook up my, uh, connect my phone to the repeater. It is already connected to the repeater, so now all I need to do is open up the Wingsland M5 app and hit uh, start to fly. And again, I can't use MABAs in it as, as I demonstrated the other day. It freezes up this app, so I'm gonna just have to use a little uh, pictures of the screen here to show you what buttons I'm touching. But uh, right now, we should be ready to go more or less. I wanna record video today. So I'm starting a video camera right now. And what I'm going, the button I'm going to test now is uh, in the, actually, let's just get into the air first. Take off. And please confirm auto takeoff. Hitting that button there. After checking, we got 18 satellites. And let's see how that position hold is working. Seems to be holding well. Okay. Now, the feature I want to use today is we're going to hit the gear button, the gear icon. And we're going to, we are not in beginner mode, so we're good there. And we're going to select uh, home lock, home lock feature. And home lock is a neat feature. Let me hit it again. Yes. And let me confirm. Yes. Home lock. Okay, with home lock. This quadcopter, no matter which where it's at, if I push out on the control stick, it's going to fly away from the takeoff point. If I pull back on the control stick, it'll fly back to the takeoff point. This is the way headless mode should have been originally designed. So what I'm going to do is I want to fly, the sun's over here. I'm going to fly off toward the mountains. I'm going to first turn the quadcopter toward me so we can see me. And moving over this direction here. Going up a little higher. Showing my shirt today. How do you like my shirt? <laughs> and I am going to push out and it should fly away from me. So push. Oh. Am I, that is not home lock. It's flying back that direction there. Okay, now it should. <laughs> it was away from there. Keep in mind when I push out, it's going to fly off in that direction. So if I want to fly away from me, I got to point it. Pulling back, pulls it back towards the center point. You know what? Let's come out of home lock first. <laughs> Don't do home lock when you're close up. Uh, let's go back in there. Coming out of home lock, close. And we should be in normal flight mode. No, we're not. We're still in home lock. Coming out of home lock again. Close. Close. Okay, that time I got it. Okay, I want to fly off in this direction here first. You got to set yourself up before you do activate home lock if you're going to do what I want to do right now, and that is fly toward the mountains. Now I open home lock. You got to set that position up first. Home lock. Home lock is set. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the quadcopter toward me. Go up higher. I still got FPV view. And then pushing outward. And it should. Now all I got to do is I'm going up higher too. Well, I'm going up one. Outbound. Again, we want to see how, what type of range we can get before I lose 
FPV reception. And before I lose um, control, <laughs> we're okay. What type of range are we at right now? Hold on, folks. I got to stop it right there so I can see. I got to take my glasses off, look over the top of my glasses to see how far we are. We are. We are 180 meters out. I still see the quadcopter. Again, you got to keep the flat side of the antennas pointed toward the quadcopter. I'm going up higher too. Going up on. I still have. I still have FPV. Now, when you're flying heading lock, I see right now the wind. <laughs> wind is a factor. It will blow with the wind. So what I'm going to do is I want to move it over to the right. The wind is blowing it as you're moving. And I'm pushing out again, going up higher. I can still see it, so I still have control. Our battery power is down to 50. It's getting low. <laughs> so I gotta start thinking about coming back soon. How far out are we? We are 350 meters out. Still have control, still have Wi-Fi, FPV. Okay, we're going to stop it right about there, folks. It's getting hard to see at uh, 452 meters. Let's see if I can make 500. Okay, that's about it. Is that 500 meters? Yeah, 518 meters, and it's getting real hard to see. Now I'm pulling back on a stick, pulling toward me. It should be flying back toward my general direction. But no, the wind is blowing it back. <laughs> it is, but it, what the weird thing is, the wind blows it at the same time. It's it's coming back at a like a curved direction. Let me turn the quadcopter too, so we can see the mountains as it's coming back as it's flying backwards. I'm pulling back on the stick, pulling back on the stick, and again it's coming back in a curved arc. But it is coming back. In a weird curved arc back toward me. Pulling back on the stick and it's flying overhead right now. And let's come down. Next thing I want to try real quick while we got battery power. And we're going to come down first. It's rotating as it's coming down. Circle me is what I want to try. Now circle me. Let me let me get come out of the heading lock first. Close, close, and that should be it. Let me verify we are out of heading lock. We are. Okay, and let me exit that. There I am. Okay, uh, circle me, circle position. If you press the uh, double arrow, that's the second one down from the uh, gear icon, and it says point of interest, we press that. And we activate it, yes. And um, I think I have to give it a little nudge the direction I want it to go. Okay. Circle position <laughs> is odd. It's circling a position. This position here, where it was at. <laughs> so it. So what you do is, I guess you fly over a position you want to want it to circle. Let's come out of that and try it one more time. I think you need to set a radius. So stopping right there, let's put it over my head. Right about there, actually. And hitting point of interest. The aircraft auto fly around. If no action is done or ra on radius is less than 3.5 meters, the aircraft will automatically fly 3.5 meters. So we're going to set the radius. Hit yes. And then adjust the radius out to about there. You got 3.5 seconds to do such and then it will start to circle. And it's doing such. This is where the aircraft was when I activated it. So you select point of interest and then immediately Pull back on the stick to send out the to send the quadcopter out, outbound. So you fly over the position you want to circle, 
select point of interest, and then uh, pull back on the stick to, to adjust the radius of the circle. How much power do I got left? I still got 30%. So let's try that one more time. We'll send it out even farther this time. Turning off point of interest, bringing the quadcopter back to me. We'll go over here and, and set it right about there. That'll be our point of interest. Um, selecting point of interest, hitting yes, and then pulling back on the stick. We're going to send that go out real far this time, right about there. That'll be our point of interest radius, a distant. And it's doing it. It does a nice slow turn about the point of interest. <laughs> Need to go up higher too to see me. And we need to come back home. Let's try something now. If I hold the button down three seconds, the right button, you know, let's do an automatic return to home then. Selecting return to home. Yes. And it's gonna, I activated automatic return to home. Is it gonna come back to me and land? How much power? We got 10% power. We're gonna land right now. Flying overhead, flying overhead. I hope we got enough power to land. It says 10% power and it's up high on an automatic return to home. I hope it has enough power to land. Come down! Doesn't want to come down! There we go. Now it's coming down. Takes its time coming down on a return to home, you know? Wow. There we go. Now, I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> it's just in its position for the landing. Okay. So, there we go. It turned itself off. Um, let me turn off the quadcopter. So I ran it down to 10% there. I gave it a full run, okay, where I felt comfortable on that on today's flight. So that should give us an idea of its flight time. But uh, we went out past 500 meters. Let me get some thumbnails right now. We actually went out pretty dang far, and we could have gone out farther. So that was impressive. You know, 500 meters, you know, for this. Um, there are folks out there who say, oh, I want 1,000 meters, or I want to go out two miles. <laughs> That's getting dangerous, folks, especially with these toy quadcopters. But uh, it was pretty respectable what it did today. Um, it, we also demonstrated Circle B. Again, to activate Circle B, you press the double arrow on the right, select POI, which is point of interest mode, and immediately pull back on the right pitch roll stick to adjust the radius. You got three and a half seconds to do such. Otherwise, it's going to set a three and a half meter radius uh, circle and automatically circle that position. So. Hope you enjoyed this flight, this Quadcopter 101, signing out.